excuse the lawnmower in the back you guys like it's a beautiful day today I don't blame people for wanting to mow their grass but seriously like why you gotta do it whenever I want to do it like why I gotta do it whenever I want to film my video follow me on snapchat if you guys haven't like literally I will give you guys a little sneak peek of what I put on snapchat this is what happened you guys let me tell you guys what happened today I accidentally deleted my video last makeup tutorial so I am filming one for you guys right now you see it's like my joker I'm like so cute look at my bracelet oh I can't show you guys aren't they so sweet and then there's all my makeup there's my coffee I was like so sad that I deleted my video but I'm gonna <laughs> film another one for you guys it's not gonna be the same look but it's gonna be one of my favorite looks so stay tuned I am not made for this Snapchat life. I need more than 10 seconds, okay? Someone is mowing the grass in the background. Help me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel one more time. Today I'm making a makeup tutorial for you guys over this look. Is it cute? Is it not? You guys like it? You guys like this makeup look or oh, nah. let me know um, if you guys like these types of videos but if you would like to know how I get this bronzy look just keep watching thank you guys we're gonna start off with our eyes because we're gonna use like a loose pigment so we want to start off with our eyes as far as the guys go we don't want like fall out all over our faces okay guys so we're gonna start off with priming our lids I don't necessarily have like an eye primer on its own so you can just use concealer a little bit of foundation and just set it it'll just kind of help like have a blank canvas for the eyeshadow to go onto your eyes so I am just using a little bit of the Maybelline master conceal concealer and this is in the shade light medium and I'm just gonna grab like a little just dab of this on my finger and apply it on the eyes before I honestly start with this look I want to tell you guys something do you guys see this I'm not a perfect person and just because I have makeup on does not make me any more of a perfect person than I am not if that makes any sense so I don't want you guys to think or to be jealous or to envy me because I have this makeup on I feel like anybody can learn how to do makeup anybody can learn how to do what I'm doing so I by no means think I'm more special than anybody because the fact that I do makeup so just know just look at me like I'm imperfect I just like to play around with makeup and makeup doesn't make me any better than I am it doesn't make me any less than I am because I already know that I'm an imperfect person and I'm okay with that I don't have to look perfect all the time so don't think by any means I'm better than you um, I'm just a regular person you guys this isn't what makes you beautiful what makes you beautiful is on the inside and I've met beautiful people who don't wear any makeup I've met beautiful people who wear um, makeup so just want you to know that I just always want to remind my subscribers that because that's so important for me to tell you as maybe like an influencer or as having a platform I want you to always know that um, that you're just beautiful no matter what the brush that I use to blend that out is this elf flawless concealer brush and it looks like this it's just really fluffy it's honestly such good quality the only thing that I have against this is that this part already fell off this top part which is very usual in the um, elf brushes and so yeah just know that I'm gonna use my airspun loose face powder and it's in the sh it's in the shade naturally neutral which is more like a yellow undertone and I did mix a little bit of the hard candy loose finishing powder it's the sheer envy bake brighten and set powder um, I like to mix a little bit of that into the airspun to make it a little bit more brighter for my face sorry guys I'm like going in and out of frame but I'm just gonna go in with that same brush and set that concealer so that it will not crease so I did like a really fun look the other day I will insert a picture for you guys and um, it took me like three days to edit it and it took me a while to film it because I was just literally coming up with it on like off the top of my head while I was filming it um, and it was like one of my favorite looks um, and I suddenly deleted it so I was super sad about that super bummed 
but oh well I'm just gonna film a different one I would refilm that one but I feel like I have to be in the mood for looks to film them to film them if I'm not in the mood to film that look then I'm I just can't film it the same way that I film it if I'm in the mood if that makes any sense that's why I'm doing like a bronzy kind of look today because that's what I'm, I'm like I'm in the mood for so that's what I'm going for and I just want to let you guys know that I would love to film it for you guys but I just feel like I really need to be in the mood and right now I'm just a little too disappointed in myself that I accidentally deleted it but it's okay one day I will get into the mood and I will refilm that video for you guys because I know how to do it now but it's just that um, I have to be in the mood. So we're gonna go into the Tardis Pro to Go palette by Tarte. I will be going into the Sonia Kashuk fluffy blending brush. So I'm gonna go into Drive, which is the shade right here, and just with that fluffy Sonia Kashuk brush. Um, Sonia Kashuk, you can find her in Target, her um, brand, and I'm just gonna put this right in the crease, blend it up. Pretty far up I'm blending this super simple you guys just blend 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 and then I also want to blend towards the outer V because I want to smoke the outer V out with a darker shade but I'm just lightly just putting my brush on it and going back and forth and back and forth very lightly. With a more precise blending brush by Sonia Kashuk, if you guys see the difference between these two brushes. So I lost footage, but I'm going in with Crisp, which is that bronzy orangey shade that you guys see on the bottom right hand corner, like the middle bottom right hand corner. So I'm going to grab some product on my brush, and I'm going to keep this. I'm going to do the same thing with it, go back and forth, back and forth. But I'm gonna go back into with a little bit of that first color that we use color that we use and just blend out the edges to deepen that up I'm gonna go into a dark brown I'm gonna go into styling in that same palette and this is a Earth Therapeutics brush. These are, have been one of my favorite brushes to use. I found them at Kohl's and they're really so sturdy. Like this part of them has not fallen off at all of any of the brushes. And I have like four, about four of these. And they've been one of my favorites. So if I can find them online, I will post them in the description box for you guys. A link if you guys would like to buy them. This brush is a lot more precise than the other two brushes, but it's still a blending brush because I like my looks to look really blended. And I'm tapping a lot of that product off my brush. I like to start off with a little and build up and blend, blend, blend because I feel like to get a good look, you have to blend. Um, so it can all just come together. So I'm just going and just focusing a lot of the product in here or out here, out in the outer corner. I'm focusing a lot of the product, making it go like into a V, but it's okay if you don't because we are gonna be cleaning up with a wipe. So you can just go like that with the wipe and it will look really sharp. So don't worry too much about it. And then just with the whatever I have left on the brush, I'm bringing it, I'm bringing it into the crease and just blending that out. What we're gonna do now is go into this Neutral Eyes by Hard Candy. And the, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the same fluffy brush and go into this dark brown. And since it's gonna be a bronzy, smoky eye, I'm gonna grab that dark brown. And I know it seems crazy because not very many people do this, but you just want to put that on your lid and then blend it up. So put that on your lid. You can use a flat like concealer looking brush. You can use a fluffy brush. Now we don't want to pack this on the lid 
but I do want to do this so that the other shade since it's just a pigment I want I want it to like blend it out I don't want there to be very like much patches Then go back in with this brush with no extra product and just kind of blend it out some more. This is Coca by, I honestly have no idea who this is by. I just found it. It's sparkly. It's pretty. It's awesome. I still got it for a birthday. I don't know where it's from, what company makes this, but it's such a pretty pretty color now let me show you guys I'm gonna swatch it in the back of my hand I know it looks like a brown but once you swatch it and like move it around the light like do you guys see all those different like it's like blue pink purple brown it is so pretty you guys so pretty what you want to do with this though is wet your brush a little bit what I'm gonna do today and hopefully hopefully it works is use this Urban Decay D Slick I think that's what it is and I'm doing this with a more precise brush so that it will go where I want it because I really don't want this blended out it's just keep it right where I need it so I'm gonna go in with that and of course there's gonna be a ton of fallout right now you guys so just try to hold it together okay so I'm gonna put that all over my lid okay guys so this did not end up working out like I'm doing it fast pace right now, but in real life, this took so much blending, so much working in, and you guys will see in a little bit me trying to like make it work, but it's just not working, so I'm going to change it up. Highlight on the center of this look, I'm going to go back to the Hard Candy Look Pro Neutral Eyes palette, and I'm going to go into this shade right here and mix a little bit of this um, gold shade with it. And that's Girly and Koi. Those are the names of both of the shadows. And I'm just going to mix it with my finger. I'm going to go back in with this brush and just go back in to the crease and just really blend that out, you guys smoke it out a little bit more from the inner corner so from like right here I'm gonna smoke it in smoke it out just a little bit more okay you guys so this is becoming a fail because that pigment is not wanting to stick and I feel like it's just kind of rubbing away it's falling all over the place so forget the pigment we're gonna go back in to the TARDIS Pro to go palette and I'm going to go in with this shade right here, which is called Boss. And it's just a really pretty, like, brown, bronzy shade. I'm just really going to pack that on top. Just with my finger, just pack it on top of that pigment. Because it honestly, that pigment, pigment was not working. So now I'm just really going to go in and wing that out, so literally just like that. So I'm going to go in to the Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist, but since I did my eye makeup already, I don't want it to like melt off my face whenever I do spray this, spray this on. So what I'm going to do is spray on my Real Technique sponge, and then I will just apply it to my face. I'm going to go with a pretty full coverage look, so I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Cream Beige. I'm just going to go in with my Real Technique sponge and blend this all into my skin. So 
So I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Master Conceal, the one that I use to prime my lids. And I'm going to grab a little bit more this time though because we are doing, we are going to highlight our face, um, not just our eyelids. So we'll grab a little bit more, just apply it like underneath my eyes, not right underneath my eyes because then it's going to cake up and down my nose, on my forehead, chin, just whatever I have. I'm going to use this Real Technique sponge and it's meant, I think, to blend out your concealer or to fix things, like correct little things on your face. But I like to use this underneath my eyes. I'm going to go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder again. I'm going to use this powder to set my under eyes. But I'm not going to bake. I am going to put a lot of powder on, but I'm not going to bake. I know it looks like I am, but I'm just going to blend it out with that same sponge all where I want it to. I just blended all of that out, and I'm going to do the same thing to my forehead. I'm not going to bake my nose and my chin. I'm also going to go underneath my cheekbones and blend some of that powder in. Just so I really like how this blended it out. I'm going to go back in with my Real Technique sponge and kind of just go right here and just blend all this stuff out just because y'all know I like to blend I'm gonna go into the elf bronzer palette and I'm gonna use this huge elf brush this is a total face brush and at first I thought this wasn't really gonna do the job because these shades look very light and this one just looks really dark but I'm gonna try mixing it all together and seeing how Maybe that kind of bronzes up my face in a way. We're going to see if, I, if it works. If it doesn't, oh well. So we're going to go into that. And I like to just bronze up my forehead a lot. Even though people say I have like no forehead. And I really like to go into my like hairline. Because I don't like that to look white. I don't know if that's just me. To contour my face, I'm going to go into the same palette, but I'm going to take this darkest shade right here. This is a Studio 35 Dual Ended Brush, um, and I'm going to go in with this side of the brush to contour. Okay, so you might think, well, what was the point of that, of like putting powder here? If you guys can see it just like, I don't know what it does, but it kind of seals that spot and it still keeps it very brightening. So I'm just going to go back in with that little sponge and I'm just going to go like this and blend that out so the highlighted spots can be revived. So for my nose area, I like to pinch this and just really get it close to there and so my contour be nice and sharp. For highlight, I will be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in Precious Petals. It's honestly one of my favorite highlighters. And for a more pop in highlight, I'm using this Real Technique sponge and this is actually meant for highlighting and contouring so I know that you could use this to like blend out your concealer under here I haven't tried it for that but you could use it for that um, but it also has like a flat edge that will be great for like blending out your like cream contour if you like cream contour even powder contour um, because it does say that you can use this for like powder products it's a really nice it's a really nice soft sponge and I like it but I'm gonna use it to highlight my cheek 
bone. So I'm just gonna grab it, a little bit of product on there, and try to blend this out. Right there. I'm also going to highlight my Cupid Tabelle. My chin. My nose. My inner corner. That puts some liner. Just line a little line on the top of my waterline. And this is by Maybelline New York Master Precise Eyeliner. And the lashes that I'm using are by LA Girl and they're named Demure Lashes. Now right now they're not in the package so they're really hard to show you guys. They kind of look like the Demi Wispy Lashes but that's what it looks like close up. The lashes are on and it's looking so pretty I'm telling you guys. once everything is on you kind of look a lot more put together guys i know i look kind of weird because i'm missing my eyebrows but now we're going to go into this color pop eyeliner in no shame it's really pretty it's a purple you guys i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm just going to go and line the bottom waterline like so and just with that blending brush i'm going to go into crisp and a little bit of styling, just a little bit of styling, which is this brown right here, and this crisp is this one. I think I'm gonna go with the crisp first, and then in I'm gonna go in with styling. I'm gonna go in with styling now and blend that towards the outer corner and not really drag it in so much. Now I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes and also on the top ones to blend them in with the lashes. For eyebrows, I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. brow pencil and like it's one of their darkest pencils that they have and I really have been enjoying this. I'm going to brush my brows up and then fill them in it's a very easy to do it with this pencil and I just really like the formula it stays on like all day now I know this is not the way you fill in your eyebrows but this is the way I fill in my eyebrows and it looks like I have sharpie brows right now but then you grab the end and you just blend it out like so you see that super easy. I'm gonna go in with this ColourPop liquid lipstick. It's called Solo and I'm not gonna line my lips or anything. I'm just gonna apply it like that. For blush you guys, I'm gonna go into the Naked Urban Decay Flushed Palette and I'm gonna go in with this Wet n Wild contour brush I believe that's what it is and I'm gonna go into this pink shade right there and I'm gonna put that all over my cheeks to finish off this look I'm gonna go into the Urban Decay D Slick setting mist and I'm just gonna apply it all over and then blend it or tap it into my skin a little bit oh, so I'm going to go in with the Real Technique sponge.
And that is it for this makeup look, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like these kinds of videos, give it a thumbs up. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click the little notification bell whenever you do subscribe. Or then YouTube just won't notify you when I upload a video. So, like I said, millions of times. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.